Anyway, a royal insider has revealed that William was furious when he called from Balmoral the day after the funeral to offer condolences to his aunt, only to find out that Harry had already been to Kensington Palace. William then went into damage control mode by contacting media sources, insisting he had been there and had given Harry the silent treatment that day. William wanted to claim that Catherine had also been present, but he was advised against it. The Sun newspaper then went on a search to find out if Harry was still in the UK, even asking locals if they had seen either brother in the area. Now, this is a rumor. It's a royal insider saying this. You know, if the royal insiders are supposedly biased in favor of Harry like, these random former aides from the stories they are running today, why can't we believe this? I'd really like to know. Can someone explain that to me? To me, this could be true because it's coming from a royal insider. Wherever this screenshot is circulating, William attending and giving Harry the silent treatment, as insisted by Kensington Palace, kind of makes sense. There was a vicar who came out of nowhere, gave an interview to the Sun, and said he shook hands with William as well as with Harry. He might have been paid off. Kensington Palace likely contacted the vicar to verify William's presence. Harry's not the type to publicly call William a liar, so he won't go down that road. The fact that the vicar spoke to the son suggests he was paid off to verify William's attendance when, in fact, William may not have been there. Now, William wanting to claim that Catherine had also been there but being advised against it who was advising him, and why? Why claim she was there when she wasn't? William pretending that Catherine was involved validates concerns people had when they were confused about her absence. This also connects to that Mother's Day photo edit. It shows that William wants to control the narrative, but sometimes he's advised against it. Sorry if I'm not rational about this. Maybe you don't believe it, but to me, it makes sense. William being furious that Harry returned without his knowledge seems plausible because the UK press didn't know either. Kensington Palace didn't know, so they couldn't brief the press. And if Kensington Palace didn't know, William certainly didn't know. So, finding out like everyone else would naturally make William angry furious, even. This also makes Harry look good while making William look worse, especially given their ongoing tension. Of course, William would want to say that his wife was there to present a united front, particularly since Meghan wasn't present. William tries to outdo everything, but people don't always see where the problem starts, and I believe it starts with, that's why I firmly believe that William was upset about being lied to, wanted his wife to be there, and had the vicar speak out to back him up. The son even ran a story asking people to call in if they saw either brother in the area. This all adds credence to my theory that William's behavior, his anger, his ego, and his fuming attitude follow a clear pattern.